Good news as small occupation have been added to the shortage of patient list. Guys, you all already know the juicy part of it that once an occupation has been added to the list, then of course overseas applicants can now apply to these jobs once they're able to secure, you know, these jobs from registered license sponsors. Okay. So in today's video, I'm here to break the news and also share with you some of these jobs or some of these occupations which have been added to the shortage of patient list and the requirements you need to meet for you to apply for these roles. Okay. So basically you need to watch the video to the end so that you get all the juicy information I'm going to share with you. And guys, don't forget to like and share this video so that it will reach a wider audience. You never can tell one of your family members that will benefit from today's video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Shini official to all my new and returning subscribers. Guys, you all are so wonderful. Thank you so much for all your support. I do appreciate you all are welcome back to my channel. From this article which I'll be sharing with you today, two occupation sectors have been added to the shortage occupation list. So without further delay, let me quickly share my screen with you so that we'll read it out and also hear your thoughts in the comment section. So guys, from this article, which is called workpermit.com, you can see the headline, UK shortage occupation list, new additions and sponsor license. Okay, so this was published on the 12th of June, 2023. So we are scrolling to the newly added occupation so current additions to the shortage occupation list five construction related rules were recently added to the shortage occupation list following recommendations from the migration advisory committee which is mac and these roles include firstly bricklayers and messings carpenters and joiners roofers roof tilers and slaters plasterers and dry liners then general construction and building traders which include fencers steeplejacks and builders wow my construction subscribers the long awaited time is here okay i can remember the last video i dropped on my channel on jobs that pay higher than care assistance with visa sponsorship i got a comment whether these jobs can be you know be applied by overseas applicants and of course you guys can see it as if i know that this video will be coming up you can see that now that some of construction job roles has been added to shortage of patient list you can actually get these jobs as an overseas applicant okay so remember on this channel i always drop links or jobs that can sponsor you in different professions so from now henceforth any profession i come across that are issuing sponsorship i'm going to make a video about that and drop so but then let's not deviate let's quickly run through the article and see the other sector that has also been added to shortage of patient list so let's continue additionally several roles in the sea food sector such as share fishermen trawler scrapers and experienced deckhands on large fishing vessels have been added to the list and these roles will benefit from lower fees and salary requirements ensuring the sector can continue to assess much needed talent okay so let's quickly go to the uk government website and also read out um, an update seafood sector jobs to be added to the shortage occupation list and this was published on the 23rd of may 2023 so the reason why i came to this government website is just to verify the news all right and of course you guys can see where it was published so the new roles added to the shortage of patient list follow the inclusion of five construction related roles added at the spring budget after the government accepted the independent evidence-based recommendations of the migration advisory committee which is mark so to be included on the shortage of patient list a role must not only be skilled and in shortage it must also be sensible to include it on the list in the context of alternative solution to tackling the shortage other than through immigration so guys the link um, to this government website where i got this update will also be in the description box so that you can go back and read up 
so guys as we have seen that the seafood sector has finally been added to shortage of patient list so fishermen can now actually get sponsorship and move to uk so this is so funny okay who knows the next order of patient that will be added you never can tell it might be that your occupation okay so let's keep our finger crossed once there are still more updates i'll come here and share it with you also in this particular article they stated that proposal has been made for more job roles under the construction sector to be added to shortage of patient list making it a total of 13 job roles under the construction sector okay and they stated that this proposal will be reviewed by mark by august 2023 this year okay so once there is an update of course your girl will be here to give you update guys if you are still watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel smash the subscribe button and be a member of this amazing family still from this same article there are still proposal for future addition of some occupations under the construction job to be added to shortage occupation list okay so you can see where they said the construction leadership council is advocating for the inclusion of 13 more occupations on the shortage occupation list okay so look at you can see the list of all the occupations so aside the five job roles that have already been added they are still proposing for more to be added to making it up 13 job roles under the construction sector architectural bricklayers and messes business and related associ associate professionals carpenters and joiners construction and building trees elementary construction occupations mobile machine drivers and operative plasterers dry liners and others you know guys the lists and so on and so forth you can see the list then i wrote the final review from the mark is expected to be published in august which will determine whether these additional roles will be added to the list okay so the already five job roles have been added but then after review from mark in august they will now consider whether these additional roles will be added making it 13 job roles under the construction sector so of course by august i know there will be an update from mark so reading for that you can see the benefits of inclusion on the shortage of patient list so you might be wondering what is this shortage of patient list is all about it's just in summary that roles included on the shortage of patient list will enjoy various benefits as they qualify for a 20 percent lower salary threshold which is twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds instead of twenty six thousand two hundred pounds so once your patient is in shortage of patient list for you to get sponsorship from overseas the salary should pay you a minimum of twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds and above okay instead of twenty six thousand two hundred pounds so any occupation that is not on that is not on the shortage of patient list and they are recruiting you from overseas that occupation must pay you twenty six thousand two hundred pounds but once it's on the shortage of patient list then anything from twenty twenty thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds is acceptable so that's just the summary of this particular paragraph but then employers in these sectors are worried concerning the eligibility requirements which their overseas applicants need to meet before they can be issued skilled worker visa if they finally secure these jobs so this will lead me to the next topic which we'll be discussing in today's video the eligibility requirements you need to meet for you to get your skilled worker visa if you finally successfully secured this job as an overseas applicant coming to the eligibility requirement for these rules number one of them is certificate of sponsorship okay like other jobs if you apply for this job as an overseas applicant and you have a successful application you, you had your interview and your interview is successful of course your employer is supposed to issue you what they call certificate of sponsorship okay called cos that cos will contain the title of your job your job code and other details the home office needs to know concerning your employment okay so the first criteria is certificate of sponsorship after a successful job application then the second requirement is your IELTS which is your English exam 
of course remember before you can be issued a skilled worker visa you need to pass what they call the 70 point based system so if you don't have IELTS there's no how you will reach that 70 point threshold but then these employers under these two sectors I mentioned are worried based on that the applicants who will be applying for these jobs from overseas are not professionals some of them might not really be intelligent to pass this IELTS exam with a high band okay so they also stated that the government are going to put it into consideration and you know give room for adjustment so probably I'm thinking that they might reduce the overall band for those under this construction and seafood industry so instead of meeting 5.0 or 4.5 they might reduce it to 4.0 but then that's just my own idea i don't know what they are going to put into consideration of course once there is an update i'll still come here and make the, the video and inform you all okay so guys that is basically it for this particular video the link to this information will be in the description box in case you would love to go through it and know more about this latest development okay you can leave your questions coming in the comment section i will be glad to attend them or anybody that have the answers we attend to them Thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video to show your support share this video so that it will reach a wider audience you never can tell who you will be helping by sharing this video leave a sweet comment for your girl in the comment section if you are yet to join us please subscribe to my channel and as you do that may god bless you thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye